Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm the workforce intern here at AGI. Are you a student in college who is bored of the same old summer lifeguarding by the pool? Well, you should apply for an internship to have a more meaningful summer. But perhaps you don't know why, where, even how to get an internship. These interns will help you out. Well, my name is Zara Hirji, and I am the Earth intern. Earth is the magazine at AGI. I'm Rachel Potter. I'm an intern at the American Geological Institute, um, the Government Affairs Program. Um, hi, my name is Nate Burgess. I just completed an internship with Earth Magazine here at the American Geological Institute. I'm Stephanie Krause. I'm a government affairs intern with the American Geological Institute. Well, I'm really interested in policy, and so the fact that um, I'm working on policy related to the geosciences uh, was really great because I have an engineering background, so it's the best of both worlds. I was looking for an internship that would combine my interest is my interest in science and geology with design and with writing because um, I was a geology and English major as an undergrad. Well, this internship is a great opportunity um, to experience and learn policy where it happens and where it takes place on Capitol Hill. My advisor forwarded me the, the job posting and I just applied for it, sent in my resume and cover letter and that was it. In the cover letter, you should make sure you talk about, at least they specifically required you to talk about why you wanted to do this position, what you thought you would learn, and why you're qualified, as well as your resume, and they asked for three writing samples, and then they asked for a preliminary interview, and if that goes well, there might be a follow-up interview, or you just get hired if you're lucky. <laughs> There's not really a typical day at AGI. Um, for in a week, I could spend two to three days um, on Capitol Hill or in the office. Mostly just researching for an article. I've had to do a lot of interviews and then transcribing those interviews and just writing. But I'm mostly at my desk. I don't go on a lot of field trips. Well, this internship is great. Um, part of my job is to go to the committee hearings on both the House and the Senate side. And it's really fun to go into the um, Senate and House congressional building. Every week is kind of different. Um, and there's a bunch of different type of stories, so I'm not writing like the same one. And everyone's really nice, so I'm enjoying it. I really like it. It's great uh, being part of like being down there and on the action, seeing what's going on on the hill. What it means to work for a magazine um, and the different deadlines associated with that, how you really have to do everything in advance, the editing process, kind of just how you put out a magazine. And in addition, I'm writing about science, so I'm learning about science. I hadn't, didn't have a lot of experience with computer graphic software before the internship, um, and working at Earth gave me a chance to get some hands-on experience with that. Um, and I also changed, was able to improve my writing the commute because it's very far from me. Um, the commute is pretty awful. I'd say Northern Virginia traffic is one of the worst parts of, of this internship. My goal for now is to look into something that's more science, science journalism or science outreach. I have strong interest in, in design and in the arts and I also have enjoyed the sciences a lot um, and the internship gave me the opportunity to explore my interests in both areas and kind of keep both sides of my brain working. So I'm not sure what I want to do in the future, but the skills I'm learning in this internship are definitely applicable in other places. Uh, definitely look early. A lot of the deadlines are earlier than you might think, like normally in February or March for the summer. Um, I really stress that you put a lot of time into all of your cover letters because if you have a blanket cover letter, people know. So really making sure it comes across that you're really enthusiastic. Well, um, make sure you apply early and make sure you look at the website so you know what you're doing and it's something that you know you'll be interested in. Trying to find an opportunity at school where you can get some experience beforehand. A lot of places don't necessarily expect you, like Earth didn't expect me to have magazine experience before I came, but it was good that I kind of knew what it meant to be a journalism intern. An internship can be very beneficial to have. It gives you real-world experience, you can try out a career path that you're considering, and you can make connections and network with people in your field. 
Internships are everywhere you can imagine, from your national parks to big cities, and from private companies to government. Here are a few good places to start looking. Don't forget to ask your parents, friends, and professors if they know anything available that you would be interested in. I would recommend finding an internship where you can use your talents and skills, like writing, art, and film. Once you find an internship that you think you are qualified for and interested in, send them an accurate resume and intriguing cover letter. There are likely many students applying for that same position. Be sure to be creative, but also professional in your cover letter. Don't just send your resume and wait for them to call you. Be sure to follow up with a phone call. There are many awesome internships out there. Search and apply to as many as you can. You never know what will turn up. Good luck.